regular checks on the appearance and smell of metalworking fluids should become part of your working routine. We're going to cover the visual signs and odours that you need to look for when checking on the condition of your metalworking fluid supply and sumps. So one of the worst sumps I've seen had a tremendous amount of oil on the surface. You would get organic material in there. So you can get big layers of like biofilm, which is like a sort of slimy substance which lies on top of the metalworking fluids and if left that can just build up and up and it's just sort of really grungy. The air becomes sort of contaminated around there and you get like a sort of misting on all the surfaces around the machine as well. A breeding ground for bacteria which then affects the health conditions of the operator and the environment around him. So now we're down here on the shop floor, let's take a look around a typical machine to see what to look for. Visual checks on the metalworking fluid should be carried out on a regular basis to spot deterioration in the quality of the fluid. The operator should conduct these visual checks daily. Check that the metalworking fluid has not dramatically changed in colour or clarity. Check for signs of foaming in the sump and for the presence of creaming, metal fines and swarf, tramp oil and the separation of the emulsion. Here are a few examples of what you're looking out for. Check for unusual odours, such as a rancid smell or of rotten eggs, which can be caused by the growth of bacteria. This is made worse when metalworking fluid is left to stagnate without regular circulation. Check for the presence of slime and deposits on the surfaces of the sump and on filter surfaces. If these deposits are not cleaned, a thick visible slime layer called biofilm may form. Also check for blockages that may affect the flow of coolant. Record the result on the fluid maintenance record chart. Well actually a visual and odour check, it should become almost a routine or a habit. You should use your eyes and your nose to check out the fluid basically every time you're on a shift. As soon as they go on the machine they should be checking levels, they should be checking the colour, they should be checking the odour. There's normal giveaways such as a change in colour, a change in smell, if there's separation in the liquids. Yeah, you can see things like oil on the top, creaming on the top. You can have a foul odour, it could smell of rotten eggs or sweaty socks, anything like that. Really, it tells you something's not right and you need to do further investigations. Now you've gotten into the routine of looking out for visual signs and smells, we're going to find out more about how you can sample the metalworking fluid to undertake different tests to monitor the fluid quality. For the remaining tests presented in these videos, it will be necessary to take a representative sample from the metalworking fluid supply to the machine. To actually test the metalworking fluid is really easy. A handful of very, very simple tests. Our assets are our people, and we need to make sure they're going home safe every day, having done the best possible job in a safe environment.